What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the least common denominator between two fractions, okay? And this topic is really useful for when you're trying to add and subtract fractions, okay? Because in order to add or subtract fractions, you have to have the same denominator, right? So, this is one way of finding a common denominator. Okay, so let's start with this first example right here. So, how would we find the least common denominator of two-thirds and three-fifths. Well, this actually isn't too difficult, okay? Because all we're going to do is list multiples of their denominators. Okay, so for example, let's take two-thirds first. I have a three in the denominator, so I'm going to list multiples of three. Or in other words, I'm just going to count by threes, okay? So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this other denominator, 3 fifths. Okay, so I'm going to take the denominator, 5, and I'm just going to count by 5s, or list multiples of 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, and etc. Okay, now the only thing we have to do here is find a number that they both have in common. So if you look through both of these lists, you'll notice that they both have the number 15 in common, okay? So that's the smallest number, or the smallest multiple that they both have in common. So that means the lowest common denominator that they have in common is 15, okay? Because we have 15 here and 15 here. Okay, so this would be your answer. The least common denominator is equal to 15. Now, in application, this is telling us we can change this denominator to 15 and we can change this denominator to 15. So how would you do that? Well, let's do two-thirds first, okay? If we wanted to change the denominator to 15, we have 3 here, so we'd have to multiply by 5, right? Because 3 times 5 is equal to 15. But whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top, right? So we'd have to multiply by 5 up here also. And then you could do the same thing with this fraction over here, 3 fifths. Okay, so I have a 5 in the denominator. How can I change that to 15? Well, I could multiply by 3, right? Because 5 times 3 is 15. But again, whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top, right? And then if I simplified these, we could simplify two-thirds first, right? What's 2 times 5? That's 10. And that's going to go over 3 times 5, which is 15. And then we could do the same thing with this fraction over here, right? What's 3 times 3? That's 9. And then that's going to go over. What's 5 times 3? 15. Okay, so now you can see they both have the same denominator. And then you could add or subtract these if you needed to, okay? Let's try one more example. Okay, so for this example, we're going to find the least common denominator of 3 fourths and 5 sixths. So how would you do that? Well, again, all we're going to do is take their denominators, okay, so 4 and 6, and list out their multiples. Okay, so let's start with 4 first. We're going to count by 4s. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Okay, I'll stop there. Okay, and now I'll do the same thing for this denominator right here, 6. Okay, so I'll count by 6's. 6, 12, 18, 24, and I'll just stop there. Okay, now in order to find the least common denominator, we have to find the least common multiple. Okay, so again, that's just the smallest number that they both have in common. Okay, so here you'll see that they both have 24 in common, right? But they also have 12 in common, okay? So which one do we want to pick, 12 or 24? Well, again, we want the smallest one, okay? So we would pick 12 in this case. So that means the least common denominator between 3 fourths and 5 sixths is equal to 12, okay? 12. And that'd be your answer. All right, guys, so that's how you find the least common denominator between two fractions. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.